Now, we are going to discuss about the another thing, mass and weight. Before we are going to discuss about these terms, uh, some of the knowledge which we uh, got in the previous class, we can discuss once again that among that one is a free form. What is actually free form? The term free form, we know every object is attracted by earth towards its center. In the case of a body falling, yeah, in the case of a body falling towards earth, if that body falls a non gravitational force. If a body falls towards the earth only due to gravitational force alone, only due to gravitational force alone, then we can say that body is under free fall. That body is under free fall. When a body is under free fall, its direction of velocity does not change, but its magnitude changes. That means it is accelerating and that acceleration is called acceleration due to the force of gravity or acceleration due to gravity that we represented with the letter G. That we represented with the letter G. And for a particular place the value of G is a constant. For a particular place, the value of G is constant. So, it is, we get from the relation G is equal to Gm by R square and its value on the surface of Earth, near the, on the surface of Earth or near the surface of Earth is 9.8 meter per second square. Its value is how much? 9.8 meter per second square. These are the things we discussed in our previous class. Now, we want to know about the, the terms mass and weight. We know mass depends on inertia. Uh, mass is a measure of inertia. Mass is a measure of inertia. When the mass increases, mass increases, inertia also increases. Inertia also for a body, if its mass increases then its energy also increase. This mass is a constant. It means a mass does not mass does not change. Mass is constant means it does not change. It is same everywhere. It is same everywhere means uh, uh, on the surface of the moon or in a planet uh, like uh, Jupiter or Mars anywhere. Mass of a body remains uh, same. That does not change, you uh, know, mass is measured uh, in the unit uh, kilogram. The unit of mass is a uh, kilogram. Now, once again, mass actually is a measure of inertia. When mass increases, uh, Inertia also increase. This mass is a constant and that does not change. It remains same everywhere in the universe. Actually, what is a mass? Mass is the quantity of matter in a body. What about the uh, mass? Is, uh, what about the quantity of matter in a body that we measure in terms of mass? Now we can go to another term 
what is actually weight we know for every body earth attractive that uh, attractive force uh, we used to say as a uh, gravitational force attractive force is called uh, gravitational force earth attractive force is called uh, gravitational force we know force is the product of mass and uh, acceleration we know force is a product of mass and uh, acceleration in the case of uh, gravitational force uh, this f is equal to we can take as m g but this force is, uh, is also weight of the body so w is equal to m g here W is equal to mg shows weight of a body. What is actually weight of a body? It is the force of attraction of earth on that body. It is the force of attraction of earth on that body. This we measured as its weight. So W is equal to mg. But you see, uh, on the surface, the value of g is uh, not uh, same everywhere. G is same for a particular place, uh, but it does not mean it is same everywhere on the surface of earth. The value of G is more at the poles, uh, but the value of G is less at the equator. A slightly small value, that is uh, near the poles, its value is 9.83 meter per second square, but uh, at the equator is approximately 9.78 meter per second square that is slightly less value hence weight changes from uh, poles to equator that is uh, for a body its weight is more at the poles uh, and a little less at the equator that is because of the change in the value of g we know weight is the, gra uh, weight is the gravitational force uh, and it is acting vertically downward and it is acting vertically downward weight is acting vertically downward in the case of a body and uh, when we consider for a particular place at the place g e is a constant at the place when we consider g is constant that means uh, if g is constant uh, this equation w is proportional to m g is constant at a place uh, hence w proportional to m hence w proportional to m means uh, at a place uh, weight is the measure of mass that means weight of a body is the measure of its uh, mass uh, at a place uh, because at a place uh, the value of g is constant hence w is proportional to m m w is proportional to m means w proportional to m means uh, what that means uh, weight proportional to mass means uh, for a particular place uh, weight is the measure of mass of a body weight is the measure of mass of the body for a particular place uh, it may change when we go to some other place. Now, we want to know how the weight depends in the case of a moon. In the case of a moon, see, let WM be the weight of the moon. We know weight is the gravitational force. So, Wm, that is weight of the moon, sorry, weight of a body in the moon, weight of a body in the moon, W is equal to G, M, mass of the moon, into M, mass of the body, that is placed in the moon, divided by a radius of the moon. The square. The measure from this relation, F is equal to G M 
m by r square and is universal uh, gravitational force of attraction from that uh, weight of a body that is placed in the moon wm is equal to g m m by r m square and weight of a body on the surface of earth w is equal to g capital mass of the earth small mass of the body and r radius of the earth the we can substitute the value to find there is a Ma, uh, that is a uh, weight of the body in the moon. For that, the value given here, that means the moon, its mass is, uh, it is equal to, that is a uh, g into, uh, mass of the moon is given as uh, 7, uh, 7.36 into 10 raised to 22. 7.36 into 10 raised to 22 into mass of the given body by radius of the moon is given as a radius of the moon is given as 1.74 into 7.4 into 10 raised to 6 1.74 into 10 raised to 6 the whole square by solving this you know the value of g 6.7 into 10 to the power minus 11 if you put the value on this and uh, suppose body of mass m on then uh, if we put the values on here we can find the weight of the body on the surface of on the surface of moon similarly weight of the body on the surface of earth that is also equal to that is g is equal to that is w is equal to g m by r square that is d into mass of the earth is given here as a 5.98 into 5.98 into 10 raised to 24 10 to the power 24 into mass of the body divided by radius of the earth is given here as 6.37 into 10 raised to 6 the whole square see from this relation that is wm that is equal to uh, weight of the body on the surface of moon. Here, weight of the body on the surface of earth. From this two, when we solve, we can find out uh, that is the weight of the body on the surface of moon and the weight of the body. Here, when we divide these two relation, we get a W. E, that means the WM, weight of the body on the surface of moon divided by weight of the body on the surface of earth that is a WM that is weight of the body on moon divided by WE, weight of the body on the surface of earth is equal to when we divide these two relations that means this one divided by this one we will get the value that is equal to 0 0.165 that is equal to 0 0.165 that is equal to 1 by 6 that is equal to 1 by 6 actually from this for a body of mass m on the surface of earth if the same body be placed on the surface of moon there is a mass remains the same, but the weight becomes 1 by 6. That is 1 by 6 the weight only there on the surface of moon. Suppose here on the surface of earth, a body of mass is 6 kg kilogram weight. Then it is on the surface of moon, its weight is 6 kilogram weight into 1 by 6. That is equal to only 1 kilogram weight. There uh, are only 1 kilogram weight. This is the relation uh, which we got that means uh, weight of body, weight of a body on the surface of moon divided by weight of a body on the surface of earth that is WM divided by W that is equal to 0 0.165 that is equal to how much? Uh, 
1 by 6 or a 1 by 6 or a that is here w1 weight of the body where in the moon here w a what is weight of the body in the earth then how much it will be what is the ratio that is equal to 1 by 6 only 1 by 6 weight only that body when we placed uh, in uh, in moon that has Now, with these relations, uh, we want to solve some problems. Uh, among that, uh, first one here given is see, mass of an object is 10 kg. Mass of an object is 10 kg. Then, what is its weight on the earth? What is its weight on the earth? We want to find out the weight on the earth. We know the value of G is how much? 9.8 meter per second square. How much it will be? 9.8 meter per second square. We know weight of a body on the surface of earth W is equal to mg. W is equal to M G. M mass G acceleration due to gravity. That is equal to here we can write W is equal to M 10 into G 9.8. But multiplying it will become 980. Uh, on decimal place when we give that is equal to 98 Newton. This is the weight of the body. This is the weight of the body. How much is it? 98 Newton. Newton is the unit of force. Weight is also actually a force. Weight is also a, a force, gravitational force or attracting force. Hence, the unit of weight is also Newton. The unit of weight is also Newton here. So, that uh, question answer is uh, how much it is? Uh, we got uh, 98 Newton. Now another one is given. Another one problem. An object weighs 10 Newton when measured on the surface of the earth. An object measured, uh, an object weighs 10 Newton. That means weight is equal to 10 Newton. Where an object weighs 10 Newton when measured on the surface of the earth. That means when it is on the surface of the earth, its weight is 10 Newton. What would be its weight when measured on the surface of the moon? That means we want to measure weight on the surface of the moon. See, we want to measure weight on the surface of the moon. But we know what relation Wm, that means weight of the object on the moon divided by weight of the object on the earth that is equal to how much that is equal to 1 by 6 how much is it will be 1 by 6 that value before we got so wm is equal to 1 by 6 into we that means weight of the body on the surface of earth that is equal to 1 by 6 into W is E1. How much it is? Uh, 10. That is uh, 10. What will be 10? 10 divided by 6. Uh, how much it will be? That means uh, 10 divided by 6. Uh, 1 times 6, 6, uh, 1 is 4. Now put decimal 14. 6 times 6, uh, 36. Uh, again 4. That is also 6. Uh, this will repeat. So, it's a weight, weight of the body on the moon, on the surface of the moon. Weight of the body on the surface of the moon is equal to how much? 1.66 Newton. 1.66 Newton is the weight of the body on the surface of the moon. Now, Here two more questions given. Uh, 
related to this one. First of all, what are all differences between mass of an object and its weight? What are all difference between mass of an object and its weight? See, mass and weight. We want to find out the differences. We know mass is actually measure of inertia. Measure of inertia. Here weight is the uh, gravitational force of attraction. Weight is the gravitational force of attraction. Then mass is constant everywhere. But weight changes. Weight changes from planet to planet on or on the different positions of the earth or different locations of the earth. Then we say this will change us from planet to planet or from different parts of the earth. Then we say weight of a body uh, when we take from the poles of the earth it is small. But when we take uh, at the equator it is less. That means uh, uh, weight changes from place to place. Here uh, this we measure in terms of Kilogram. Mass is measured in terms of kilogram. Here it is a force, so it is in Newton. These are all differences between mass and weight. Here also mass is a scalar quantity, weight is a vector quantity. Mass which quantity it is a scalar, this one is a vector. These are the difference, main difference between mass and weight. These are the main difference between Mass and weight. Then another question. Why is the weight of an object on the moon? 1 by 6 its weight on the earth. Why? That means uh, weight of the earth. Weight of a body on the surface of on the surface of body is one by six times as that of this on yeah because we know uh, the size of moon is uh, compared to earth is uh, smaller or small in size so gravitational force exerted by moon on the body is uh, less than that exerted by earth on the same body. So that is that becomes 1 by 6 th times. That means the size of the moon is uh, compared to that of earth is smaller. Because of that it takes a uh, gravitational force uh, less than that of the earth and its value is how much uh, its ratio when we take uh, that means uh, uh, it becomes uh, 1 by 6 th as that of the earth. That is the reason. Now we can go to another part. Here are some chains given thrust, pressure, etc. But that is not uh, in our uh, topics for this year. Now we can uh, move to the problems here given in the exercise. The first one here given is uh, how does the force of gravitation between two objects change when the distance between them is reduced to half? Exercise question first one. How does the force of gravitation between two objects change when the distance between them is reduced to half? That means the uh, distance between them be reduced to half. How the force on them 
become self. That we want to find out. See, from the Newton's universal law of gravitation, see, we quote the relation F is equal to G M M by D square. Here, M mass of one body, first body, and smaller mass of the second body. If it is center, I attain another body, then it is the mass of the other, and smaller is the mass of the other body. And D is the distance between them. D is the distance between the body. Distance. Instead of this D, sometimes we took it as a smaller or sometimes uh, if it is on the surface of water, we take it as a capital. Here instead of D, we can use somewhere R also or capital if the body is on the surface of the earth. Any uh, one of these we can take. Now here F is equal to G M by D square. Then we know this is the force of attraction between the two bodies. Here you see in the question, distance is uh, changed to half. Distance is changed to half means uh, the distance D. Now here it becomes a D by 2. Distance becomes a D by 2. Hence the force C. F is equal to G capital M small m by D by 2 the whole square. That is equal to G capital M small m by D square 2 the whole square become 4. C G M M by D. And that you want to divide with again this 4. That 4 will come up. up. So this force become 4 times. Now the force becomes a 4 times. How much is the force now? It becomes a 4 times. Okay? Now we can go to second question. Gravitational force acts on all objects in proportion to their masses. Why then a heavy object does not fall faster than a light object? See, gravitational force acts on all objects in proportion to masses. That means we know gravitational force F is equal to G capital M small m by D square. We know when the mass of the body increases, gravitational force also increases. When the mass of a body increases, gravitational force also increases. But here the question, gravitational force acts on all objects in proportion to their masses means if the mass increases, gravitational force also increases. If the mass increases, gravitational force also increases. Why then a heavy object does not fall faster than light object then why a small object and a heavy object both falls at the same acceleration see this acceleration we know from the relation d is equal to g m by r square here acceleration or change of velocity given by g is equal to g m by r square for a place G gravitational constant, M mass of the earth, these two are also constant and R radius also a constant at a particular place. Now see the mass of the body, if M, if it is small or large, is it comes in this relation? No. That mass of the body is not depends on the acceleration. Mass does not depends on the acceleration. Hence, for a body of mass less or a body of mass of more, that does not change or that does not accelerate differently. That means so all the bodies 
that will accelerate at the same rate or that means uh, change in velocity will remain the same because uh, uh, acceleration due to gravity or acceleration produced by the gravitational force uh, does not depend on the mass of the falling body. Acceleration produced by gravitational force uh, does not depend on the mass of the falling body. So, G is, a, is, is the same for uh, both the same for a body of small mass or a body of heavy mass or a body of hollow or a solid mass does not uh, change. Now see, this is the answer for second question. Now we can go to the third question. What is the magnitude of the gravitational force between Earth and one kg object on its surface. Mass of the earth is 6 into 10 raised to 24 kg and radius of the earth is 6.4 into 10 raised to 6. See here, what is the magnitude of gravitational force between the earth and one kg object on its surface? That means we want to find out the gravitational force. That is F. There is F is equal to, we know, G M M by R square here on the surface of the earth. Here we want G we know how much it will be 6.7 into 10 raised to uh, minus 11 Newton meter square per kilogram square. Actually, the value of G is 6.673, but for calculation, we can take it as approximately 6.7, 6 6.7, and the mass of the earth here given, mass of the earth here given as, how much, 6 point, that means mass of the earth is given as 6 into 10 raised to 24 kg kilogram, then, Radius of the earth is given. Radius of the earth is given as 6.4 into 10 raised to 6 meter. Then, mass of the object placed given. That means the mass of the object here is equal to 1 kilogram. Now, we want to find out the gravitational force by using this relation. Which is the relation? F is equal to G mm by R square. In this relation, if you put G 6.7 into 10 to the power minus 11 into mass of the earth 6 into 10 raised to 24 into M 1 divided by R square that is 6.4 into 10 raised to how much? 6 the whole square. Now, once again, that is equal to 6.7 into 6 into, here you see 24 minus 11. How much it will come? From 24 into minus 11, that is equal to 10 raised to 13. By, here 6.4 into 10 raised to 6 the whole square. That is equal to 6.4 into 6.4 into 10 raised to 6 the whole square. 10 the power 6 the whole square. That is, we know A raised to M, the whole raised to M is equal to M, A raised to M into N. A raised to M, the whole raised to N is equal to A raised to M into N. That is 6 into 2. That is equal to 10 the power 12. Now, see this 10 raised to 12. 10 to the power of uh, 10 raised to 13 here. Here 10 raised to 13, you have 10 raised to 12. Uh, when we remove this, uh, we get to what is uh, uh, 10 to the power 1, that is 10. By multiplying 6.7 into 6 uh, into 10 divided by this, and this, we are we get uh, the, the value approximately we get as a uh, 9.8. 9.8 Newton, we get the answer as 9.8 Newton. How much it will be? 9.8 Newton is the gravitational force between Earth 
and that body of mass on Kg. 9.8 is the gravitational force between Earth and that the given body of mass on Kg. Now, this is the answer for question number 3. Now we can go to the next question. Question number 4. The earth and the moon are attracted to each other by a gravitational force. See here. And the moon. The earth and the moon are attracted to each other by a gravitational force. Does the earth attract the moon with a force that is greater or smaller or same as the force with which the moon attracts the earth why? Then we say what we want to find out or what we want to explain here is is the earth exert a greater force on the moon or moon exert a greater force on the earth or both of them exert equal forces both of them exert equal forces that we want to find out or that expression we want to give. We know gravitational force is directly proportional to product of the mass that we see M and M and inversely proportional to square of the distance. Here F proportional to M M by D square. That is gravitational force is a mutual force. Gravitational force is a mutual force means whatever is the force exerted by earth on the moon is the same as the force exerted by moon on the earth. That means these forces are equal. These forces are equal means the force exerted by earth on the moon is equal to the force exerted by moon on the earth that means that these forces are equal because this is a mutual force because of that there does not be one force one, uh, the force exerted by one is more than that of the other these forces are equal there is only one force that is the mutual force uh, but they are acting in the opposite direction uh, that is the answer for this question then another question number 5, if the moon attracts the earth, why does the earth not move towards the moon? Question number 5, if the moon attracts the earth, why does the earth not move towards the moon? Earth not move towards the moon. Why? This is the question. We know from second law, F is equal to MA. Or from this, A is equal to F by M. Here, acceleration depends on mass acceleration depends on mass that is inversely proportional to for the same force but uh, it depends on inversely to the mass when we consider mass of the earth it is very large as that of the moon that means uh, even though earth and moon exert the same gravitational force even though earth and the moon both are exerting same gravitational force but we know acceleration is inversely proportional to mass in the case of earth its mass is very high so the acceleration produced to it is very very small that is why earth is not moving towards the, that is why earth is not moving towards the moon okay 
Now see question number six. What happens to the force between two objects if the mass of one of object is doubled? Question number six. We know F is equal to G M M by D square. Here, if the first question is if one of the mass is doubled, that means M become two M. If M become two M, then F is equal to how much? F is equal to G into M into two M. Divided by d square, that is equal to 2 g m m by d square. This d square is here also. That is, that means this is actually f. So 2 into f. That means the force becomes 2 f. Yeah. That means force becomes a two times. Force becomes a two times here. Okay. Now it's a b. See the question B or second one. The distance between the object is doubled and tripled. See the distance is doubled and tripled. Then F is equal to C G M M by distance doubled means two D the whole square. That is equal to yeah two square means four. So one by four into G M M by D square. See, this is actually G M M by D square is F. So the force become how much? So one by four. Force becomes a one by four. That is F by four. That is a force becomes one by four times. Now, if the distance is tripled, then F is equal to G M M by 3d the whole square that is equal to the square of 3 is 9 that is 1 by 9 into g m by d square this is actually m so force becomes 1 by 9 times if the distance between the object is tripled then force becomes 1 by 9 times Force becomes a one by nine times. A. Then third question: the mass of both the object is doubled. If this one and this one is doubled, then what about the force? That is, F is equal to G into two m into two m. That means both of the mass doubled divided by d square. That is equal to. We know what is two into two four. Four. Into G M M by D square. See this G M M by D square is actually we ask uh, actually F. So the force become four F. Now the force becomes a four times. Okay. With this all, that means uh, today we discuss the uh, about uh, mass and weight, uh, and we done. Uh, uh, number of numerical problems sir uh, with this all we can uh, conclude today's class okay